What's up guys? So it's finally 2020 and that means it's time to bring something new to the table. That being said, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to install Android 10 onto the Galaxy Note 3. Now guys, this ROM packs in loads of features and customization options making your phone feel like a freshly baked pie. With the latest Android 10, you'll be able to tweak pretty much anything like the quick settings panel, system's accent color, lock screen clock style and what not. <laughs> Did I mention you will also be getting Apple's super sick looking gesture navigation system with this ROM. So first of all, I'm going to quickly go through some of the features that this ROM offers and in the end, I'll be showing you that how to install this ROM onto the Galaxy Note 3. Now guys, there is a huge list of cool features that I can show off of the Android 10 RAM, but I'm going to try to focus on the most interesting ones. That being said, let's take a look at the power-driven new theme engine of the Android 10. With this, you can change a whole lot of things, like the toggle icons, system fonts, system icons in the status bar, and a lot more. Matter of fact, you can also change the accent colors of your system icons. Pretty cool, right? You can also make customizations to your lock screen. You can have different clock styles. I'm having this verdi clock as of now and it looks pretty damn dope. Next up, starting off with the most requested native dark mode. With this mode, you can pretty much switch the color palette of all the UI and native Google apps to dark theme. You can switch on the dark mode in two ways, either through the dedicated toggle in the quick settings panel or by enabling the battery saver toggle. This time around, Google has finally added the long-awaited feature which lets you see till what time will your battery last for the current battery status. So to check that, you simply had to scroll down the notification panel and up at the top right corner, you can get the said info. Thanks to iOS, Google has finally brought a fully gesture navigation system to Android 10 now. That being said, now you can simply scroll to your recent apps with just a simple swipe at the bottom. I'm not really sure why Apple hasn't sued Google for this yet, but I'm absolutely in love with this new gesture system. In the task manager, you can even start multitasking by simply splitting screen of any of the opened apps by tapping on its icon and selecting the split screen option. For the Android 10, sharing Wi-Fi passwords have also gotten pretty easy. You can share the Wi-Fi password with the barcode by tapping on the connected Wi-Fi settings and then tapping on the share button. Apart from so many system settings for customization, Havoc ROM also offers a whole lot of other custom settings which add way more customization to the Android 10 ROM. Inside the configuration center, you can pretty much change anything. You can change the transparency of the quick settings panel, enable the ambient display with different color options, enable double tap on the lock screen to fake up the phone and a lot more. And guys, talking about the stuff like camera performance and battery, I can assure you that everything is okay here, let alone one thing, which is you installing this ROM onto your device. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install Android 10 onto the Galaxy Note 3. Alright guys, so for flashing this ROM onto your device, you're going to be needing some of the files. I'm going to be giving you the link to this website, which actually contains the links to all of the required files in the description of this video. So go ahead and open up this link. So once you go ahead and do that, uh, you're going to be finding the written review of this ROM over here. So if you want to go ahead and check it out, you're most welcome to do that. But anyways, over here are the files that you're going to be needing. So you have to save Odin application and Tor file onto your PC. Uh, and the ROM file and Google Apps are to be saved on your Note 3. And guys, you have to care about certain things before you go ahead and download the Google app. So once you click this link, you will be taken to this page over here. So you have to select our own platform, Android version 10 and Pico version under the variant tab over here. Last time I went with the Nano version, I'm a phone that didn't boot up for some reason. So do select Pico version before you go ahead and download the Google files. Lastly, for the Twerp file, you have to tap on, of course, this link over here. That is gonna take you to this page. So scroll down until you reach this part. Uh, so over here, you have to tap on this link for Galaxy Note 3. And over here, you have to select your model number, and then you have to select the latest version of a twerp image file. So uh, download both of these files, and then go ahead and open up the Odin application on your PC. All right, guys, so once you open up the Odin application, you have to then connect your phone with the PC. So let me just go ahead and connect mine with you guys. So once you go ahead and do that, you'll find this blue box over here inside of the Odin application representing that your phone 
Moon has been successfully connected. All right, after that, go ahead and tap on AP, select your twerp file, go ahead and tap on open, and then tap on the start button. And that's gonna begin your flashing process. So give it a while, and once it's done, boot up inside of the recovery mode. All right, guys, so once you are booted up inside of the twerp recovery, go ahead and tap on vibe, and then advanced vibe, here select these items and after the selection go ahead and swipe to wipe them up. Next up you have to move to the location where you saved up your ROM file and of course the Google Apps. So for me uh, they are actually uh, saved up inside of my SD card so I'm gonna go ahead and first of all flash the Havoc ROM. So here go ahead and swipe to confirm flash that is gonna be taking a little while so once it's done I'll be back. Alright guys, now it's finally the time to go ahead and flash the Google app, so let's just go ahead and select this file and swipe to confirm flash. And this yet again is going to be taking some time, so uh, give it some time. And after it flashes up, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, you can go ahead and reboot your system. And let me tell you a thing, uh, the first boot after you flash a certain ROM takes a lot of time, maybe 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, it all depends upon the type of the phone you're using. So don't panic during your first boot. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Got any queries? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you all next time.